Okay, well, welcome back. Uh, so one of the things that I stress with my students and MathCAD is absolutely brilliant for is making sure that their problem solutions are annotated and anybody who's worked in a spreadsheet recognizes the challenges with so much happening behind the scenes. Very difficult to annotate what exactly is going on. So if you inherit a spreadsheet from somebody else or you go back to a spreadsheet that's a few years old, quite often it's, it's almost impossible to figure out what's going on. So the beauty of MathCAD is, is that this looks a lot like our hand calculations and if we add adequate annotations as we're going through, then we're able to you know, easily discern what is being done and how it's being done, why it's being done and stuff like that. So there are a couple different ways that MathCAD can annotate things. So obviously we're using images and I'll talk separately about inserting images uh, into our document and it works really well to, to do that. Uh, but let's add some textual annotation so that we know what we're doing and uh, can present that uh, along with it. So there's two different kinds of text uh, annotations that you can do in MathCAD. And the first one is a text block and the next one is a text box. And really they're only different in that one is full width and everything belongs to that block. And the other one is just basically a text box, which you can move around and put anywhere. So the first one that I'm gonna demonstrate is the text block. And, and remember, it's gonna go full width. So you see, I, I've actually got one down here uh, identifying step two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one in for step one. And so I place my cursor where I want it and I go up here, uh, I'm in the math tab and I go to text block and you see it gives me a block and it goes straight across the full width. And so I can type in here and tab over and say, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna determine the internal force between A and B. And that should be good. And I can move that up a little bit. I can only move it up or down. That's all that is available to me and that's done. Now where this gets interesting, is to see how it moves everything below it if you start to add space. So if I'm above it and I start adding space just by hitting the enter key, you'll notice it pushes everything up or down along with it. And that would not be the case with a text box. So, uh, and, and I'll deal, we obviously we can change the formatting of the text, which is important. Uh, and I'll deal with that uh, in just a sec after I show you the text box. So a text box like this one over here uh, to the side uh, is, you know, just like you would have in PowerPoint, that type of thing where you're just a floating text box that you can put anywhere. So again, I'm going to put my cursor about where I want it, go up, choose text box, or quite often I will just use the shortcut control T, right? So text box and it will have a default uh, settings uh, and we're just going to, label this so this is a partial free body diagram and i'll go uh, force drawn as positive or tension and that way the sign will fix it so just a little annotation so whoever's looking at the the sheet will understand it now this is kind of an extra thing so i would like to modify the formatting and so i'm going to reduce that so up here we go back to the main tabs and you'll see that there's a whole tab just for text formatting. So some of the things, you know, your standard ones, change the font, change the size of the font, uh, colors, background colors, your uh, whether it's uh, justifying left, center or right, which can be really useful. Uh, in this case, I just want to bring this down to 10 points and that looks better because it just explains the partial free body diagram slightly. Now, I can move this around. I can put it anywhere I want. Uh, I talked about um, whether it's uh, justifying left or right. You see this one is justifying right because I always put comments down the right-hand side of my page, which uh, explain things. So it's easier if it justifies right to the margin. And, you know, you can see some of the text annotations that I've used going through. You can, like I say, use bold, number of different things. Uh, and so those annotations 
greatly ex extend the capabilities of MathCAD as far as being a communication tool around your calculations. So I encourage you to use those annotations. We'll use images, we'll use annotations, and that should make the calculation that you're doing absolutely self-evident to anybody looking at it. So hopefully that was useful and uh, we'll carry on and I'll uh, show you how to put images in and some of the tricks that I use to, to make them uh, as useful as they can be.